So I have not shown a lot of what goes on in the mornings, mostly because two guys come out here, service combines, and fuel the grain carts, but this morning I am going to grease my grain cart, because it's been a little bit, you don't have to grease it every day, so I'm going to get dirty. Typical. It seems like I always get the grease gun when it's empty, but changing out the grease gun is not that hard. You just, I struggle the most with staying clean while I do it. But normally I pull that out and then I use that to pop out the old tube and then I pop the new one back in. On my recent short about, you know, greasing and blowing out radiators, someone said to use that black cap that I just took off to pry open that little pop open and then you just screw it back in. So if you've never greased before, that's how you change the grease gun. <laughs> Fling that all over the wheat field. So rather than all the grease jerks being all over these, they're just in one place and these tubes take it to where it needs to go. Delicious. Hayden's over there, probably videoing himself greasing right now. And that's how much we put on the bag last night, so that's not bad. So now we gotta blow out radiators. Um, these hoods are actually heavy, so I may look silly trying to open that, but it's just getting the right grip and trying to open those without hurting yourself can be interesting. But these radiators get very dirty when we're following combines, when the wind is blowing all the chaff around and sometimes you have to follow really close so that radiator can get dirty fast. Um, we gotta take the pins out of this front side. And Not terrible. Not fantastic. And I actually posted this video as a short on YouTube and it kind of blew up. So it has 20 million views on it right now. I had a lot of people telling me to wear a mask and that I was blowing it out wrong. Um, we just blow it off. It's really not too much dust. I was standing in the wind on that side, had my blonde hat on, but you just get it cleaned out and then it's good to go. Um, and normally, I don't know, I blow the air into that front panel first so it, you know, blows everything out the right way and then you don't have to blow it all twice, but closing that hood is not as hard as opening it. <laughs> and then after I was done with Matt's tractor, I had to go do my tractor. Tristan was using the leaf blower to blow combines off. That normally works a little bit better for blowing equipment off when you're, you know, in the back of it or around the tires and the tracks. But this was just bugging me and I had to get it off and I didn't want to scrape it off with my hands. So I went up there with the air hose and just kind of blew it off. A lot of people also disagree with this. They're like, oh, you don't need to clean it, but I don't like how it builds up. And, you know, if you need to access a wire or something, you can't see if something is rubbing against something else. We've had a couple wires that were rubbing on a piece of metal and it snapped the wire and, you know, doesn't work. So I like to avoid problems by preventing problems and sometimes blowing all the chaff off is very beneficial for that and sometimes it's just because it looks nice on the equipment. And then since I was using some pretty high air pressure, I did not blow close to the wires. I had to get in there and dig some of that chaff out.
exciting things happening today. We have an X9 showing up for a demo uh, from one of the dealerships and we will be done with this field today and then we will move again. So these guys are already chunking out a good bit of this and it is 11 o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Doug told me this morning he didn't want anyone to see any videos of him plugging up the combine. So uh, that's not Doug, it's short pipe. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm not laughing at him. I'm laughing with him. I'm sure he's laughing right now. Ugh, that is not fun, though. Real talk. Well, it is about 1.30. We're coming to the tail end of this field. They're all wrapping up. I just dumped on a truck for the first time today because the uh, timing of when the trucks get back. Most of the time, Matt is always the one up there. And I'm down here when the trucks get back, which is weird, but that's just how she rolls sometimes. So they're gonna wrap this up and then we will, um, oh, that was dumb. I just went somewhere that I shouldn't have. There is a telephone line right there. My augers, I'll just put it down, but that is what's going on. So we are now in a field that I helped plant. This is actually the first field Matt got out of the buddy seat for and I was planting these rows without him. So now we're harvesting it. Ah, perfect. I love it. I love farming. I'm not the farmer, but I did help with it. I planted over there too. And back in that corner, that nasty little dip dot right there, that's gross. That was not fun to take a tractor down with a big cedar and tanks and an hydrous tanks behind you. Ugh. I don't want to go down in the grain cart either. We just had, we didn't have a crazy two hours, but I feel like the last two hours is just, boop, I was just on the phone with my mom and that's why I haven't been recording a lot today. But it was like 2.30 when I was on the phone with her and now it's five o'clock. Like, where did that time go? And I feel like anywhere from 12 to two or three-ish. Most time it's like 12 to three drags. And then everything after three just and flies by. So we're in a new field. Um, move the bag site. That's part of why it was so crazy. Matt stays behind to move the bag site. And then we're loading trucks. We're moving bag sites. I'm chasing Tristan around. Everyone's coming from the other field because Tristan goes ahead of everyone else to cut the bag site so that we have somewhere to put the bagger and park the trucks and let the grain carts come in. So Tristan always leaves before everyone else leaves the field because he knows where the bag sites are and then everyone else follows but I, it wasn't even crazy I just everything was all over the place I was on the phone with my mom the radio was going crazy uh, yeah, yeah. with this hill it's actually funny because I snapchatted Hayden right after I went down that this spring and now Hayden's about to climb up it oh that's just that's cool stuff. Hey, you guys, in order to make this bag not such a stubby, let's get combining over here on the east side of There's probably 100, 120 acres that'll be closer to this corner than going all the way to the far west side. Gotta keep the radio on for logistics. time I pull up to the bagger and get unloaded a truck pulls up and then they're waiting because they didn't get here in time jeepers but we're all done with this field now 4G's truck just showed up so Matt is gonna dump into Cody because Cody's scales work for their stuff and ours are as precise so I'm just gonna fold up and boot out of here and Matt will load Cody and Shaleen and then we'll be done. Uh, there's Joel and Jeb. <laughs> so whenever we finish a field, they're all back there unloading on, you can kind of see a little cluster right there. They're all unloading on Matt. So there's most of the time only, I mean, so whenever they finish, they just unload on him. They all unload on one cart. 
And then since I was the cart down at the bagger, I'm gonna follow Dennis over to the next field. This long strip right here, and the entrance is right over there. Shanna was cutting right here, so I just got on the radio and asked her if she could uh, cut me a little slice out so I don't have to go all the way down there and then all the way back up here because that is a pain in the butt. So, shout out to Mama Shanna. I love her. Also, I lost the light game last night. I cannot lose it again. So my lights are not going on until everyone else's are. I have to beat Shanna. She always wins. So we were changing bag sites. We're in the middle of that. So Shanna and Joel just got a double dump right now. And then they're gonna cut me a loop out that way. And Dennis is out there somewhere. And Tristan is over there somewhere, like way over there. Cause that's where the new bag site is gonna be. Yeah, we did. We tossed that fucker under a long way. Sometimes you have bag accidents. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an accident. <laughs> That's what I call a lump. Well, my tarp won't roll. But that is going to be it for the night. Oof. I don't know who drove my pickup. But I might guess it was Jeff. <laughs> so on today's agenda... We have the X9 demo showing up. Cheers! Hello! 